All right, well, the bad news is despite chain healing that guy for like four rounds in a row with two healers, he still died. The good news is despite a viewer telling me he had to survive, it doesn't actually looks like doesn't actually look like he does have to survive. So we're in a bit of rough shape. Um, I do know I was standing my hero into in next to the cleave of their big hero, which I understand is kind of scary. But the thought process was the only way we're going to stop this guy is to beat his stamina down because... If, if the hero that has to survive, their hero, my ally's hero, is locked into combat with this hero, we're never going to kill this guy in time, and I can't keep healing him because he's almost dying every single round, which means that sooner or later something has to break, and I was except, ex trying to break his stamina first. <clears throat> Didn't happen, uh, but turns out it doesn't matter too much right now. So we bought ourselves a round, which is good because my hero is currently stunned, and I'd like him not to be stunned when he's going to fight that. This stuff down here is kind of trading. It's kind of weirdly trading. Um, Runesmith is slowly going down. Um, we got some unlucky misses here the last round that was a little bit painful, but we can probably take care of this. The rogue probably did some damage here. Rogue's a little low too though at eight. You can die to like archer shots. Uh, alright. Troll's low. I was hoping it would die and it didn't. Should we back up and shoot it? Shaman's there too, but he's at full health. I think we're going to try to kill this troll. He's at 6. Next one ought to do it. 95 percenter. Okay. Be nice to have this bleed off of us. It's really reducing our ability to heal. This guy's probably going to be through here in a moment. Right on my archers, which is, of course, super bad news. We're out of mana on pretty much everybody. Do have a meditate over here, which we're going to need to use. We have a health potion on somebody, which we also have to use. So I don't know. I guess we didn't have to keep them alive, which is kind of nice. Uh, this thing needs to die. Finally. And it'd be nice to... Is that thing dead? That is dead. I uh, know it's not. There's an orc warrior there. It would be nice to AoE these, but I think we die if we do that. Especially with no healing to give to him. I'm at 8 on this guy. It'd be really cool to find a spot to do some damage. I mean, I can attack twice there. That will give us 2 health back, I believe. 
if we hit them both. We're only one health if we don't. And the rogue is pretty close to dead. Because all of my healing has been dumped into their NPC who really did almost nothing that entire fight. I guess the ideal scenario for this fight is their NPC, uh, my ally NPC engages a bunch of non-elite enemy NPCs so that he can use his high armor to some some effect. The problem is this guy has fucking 16 accuracy, which means like armor doesn't do anything versus him. He just still hits you anyways, pretty much all the time. This works at two. Feels like that works killable. All right, it's good. It's just one orc left and he's pretty low. Down to six accuracy. What's the rogue? Nine defense. So it's 55 minus 15, so about a 40% chance to hit me. But the worry is this guy, that guy, and that guy, and that guy. I don't think I can bring the rogue in there. I think we're going to bring the rogue back and try to set up to help kill that guy. Although I bet you I get poisoned if I stand right there. So let's go here. Okay. This guy has limited stamina. Let's go there. I could attack. I'm at seven. All right, fine. Let's take a healing pot here. That will help. And what's going on over here? Really, we should, uh, thingy bob. Okay. Priestess is going to mana regen. Anybody else left? Delia. Uh, 45%, a little bit of damage. Oh, one. It's a scary amount of HP left on that guy for how much damage he does. We need to not be cleaved by him. And I wouldn't have normally been standing in his cleave except for reasons I already explained, so. It's pretty good up there. Catapult, fire, and poison on all that. Their healer has been so useless. She's been just blessing the war wizard back there and, and group healing. Which is entirely useless. It's not good. I didn't want to be lasered. Oh, we could actually lose our hero this round. If he walks over and hits him, we're probably dead. Rip. All right, so we're doing this one again. Hard fight. All right, so it went much better than the time before, except for the fact we can't let... I can't invest so many resources into keeping their guy alive. I thought I had to, but I can't do that. It's too much, too much health, and I don't have to, so good. We won't, so... All right, uh, health pot there, let's go. It's funny, I, I beat this first try yesterday. I had a Halberdier last time, I wonder if that made any difference. And didn't have this caster, but I had higher level archers too, so. All right, um. Archers, the rogue down here is actually pretty good. Let's keep him around. Did a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna, I, I don't even think I'm sending my leader up north this time. I think I'm literally gonna send everybody out this way. Because I think that worked a hell of a lot better as a whole. All right, where's the leader? The leader needs to be rallying. So does the healer. Not the healer, the other one. Like this, I guess. All right. So go two. Go one, go one, go one. I want the bless. Let's go to there to begin with. Go 
Okay. There's that. There's the rally. Let's get the rest of the movement out. I'm enjoying the game. Yep, it's fun. Alright, where is their leader? Their leader is... Middle. We're gonna get hit with pretty hard, uh... AoEs to begin with. I wish you could have um, reserves so I didn't have to bring all of my guys every time. You should be able to select it would be a little bit nicer. The Battle Brother system was much better for that. I can't quite get to their archer or to their shaman. Anyway, I look at it. You have returned. Get out of the way. Did I actually throw anything here. He's weird. I can't hit. Oh, I can't hit that guy. Forty-five percent. Okay. Large cow movies. Welcome back. Thanks for the resub. Uh, it's a little bit inefficient to run the dwarf there. When I can run him to there, he's already slow enough that I kind of want to do that. Let's go down to here. Let's go to there. Get our leader to there. Let's do so for the accuracy boost. We're going to get massively AoE. It's going to suck. All right, 95 on this guy. Maybe we get him from there. Don't need the damage, though. All right. The throwers do impede my rogue's ability to interact with everything. Get into here. Go up there. We're, we're, I mean, we're going to get a full... Everybody's going to get poisoned from that. Alright. Spread out just a little bit. Okay. Is she buffing useless people again in the corner all by herself? Looks like she is. Where's their killer? Right there. Oh, maybe he'll be busy for a while not killing our that leader. Alright, not as bad as it could have been. Only hit a couple of our guys, hit a bunch of the NPC guys. Gonna kill them in like one hit. Yep. All right. Never mind. That is a lot of damage.
Alright, so we've got shamans and archers to deal with. It's good. Uh, the rogue probably can kill that. It's stunned too, so it's like no defense. Should be fine. Nice. I don't even know if it's worth stunning him. When we're in one tile out of range. Uh, let's get in here. Nothing we can do for now. Need to get in range to heal something. Need to go help. But killing two cav in one round is fucking insane. Should have blessed before I moved out, but okay. Keep the archers blessed, I guess. Yes, get that healer closer so she might accidentally do something useful. Just good catapult too. <clears throat> Lightning my poor rogue, what an ass. He does so much damage. The AoE is such nuts. Okay. If I go there, can I see him still? No. So we're going after this guy. Nice. I mean, we're gonna be doing damage over here, but so what? It's not the problem, the problem is over here. See, stunning the troll makes some sense because the troll is a lot of uh, damage and removing his accuracy is actually really valuable because he has very low accuracy. Stunning that guy does almost nothing. Alright. Can't move around to hit the backside. That's kind of not what I'm not real pleased about that. Uh, let's try to kill this guy then, I guess. Is this one of ours? Yeah. Super helpful to have that cleave right here. Could have backed out and put him there for the cleaving of the orcs. Alright, what else do we got? I can try to give him a boost, an accuracy boost, a defensive boost by standing there. And I do want him to stay upright a little bit longer than that, so. Let's try to make that happen. Okay.
Because he accidentally blessed one of his archers. Everything else is useless to have blessed there. So stun, the little purple swirl is stun. That's a accuracy and a defense debuff. The red little dot is bleed. The green dot is poison. But this guy is so fucking accurate. He gives no shits. He just missed one though. So that's a plus I guess. Oh wow. He just dropped the tree on my dude. It's not what I wanted at all. So I'm being stalled by this crap. Shaman down is good. But I gotta get through this. Don't have the mana for a second spell right now. Rogue's getting a little bit low. Could walk him away. Start setting up to do something over here, I guess. All right, let's do that. I think we're just wasting time here otherwise. Like, killing orc warriors does nothing to win this fight or lose this fight. It's just a waste. So what do we have here? We have heals. Guy's at, he's missing 12. Can heal him for that. How's his stamina? Stamina's at five. If he attacks, which he probably will run out. So this guy is low on stamina though, Targon over here. So he might not be able to attack quite as many times. That would be nice. My guy wants to flee over here. Kind of important that that doesn't have. Oh, he's just. I guess he doesn't want to flee. He's at 13 of 50 underneath the halfway point. Uh, I don't know. I guess probably an invigorate is better than a heal here. Feels like questionably so. I really don't know that buffing him actually helps us at all. Okay, who else do we have? This guy's about to get fucked up. Let's take a heal. Try to give the adjacency bonus still. That's how we got this round. Stun there is actually really good. Keeps him down. Actually, he seemed to attack his stamina some too. So maybe we'll just keep on his stamina for a while. If we just shoot him every round with archers, that's two stamina drained every round. Let's see. Killing that troll could be really good too. Okay. They almost drained his stamina down to zero again. Game, please. He shouldn't be able to two hit fucking enemy leaders. So, those are all fleeing. That's five units, six, seven, eight, nine units, ten units fleeing from that. And one of mine, one of my healers is fleeing too. She's still affected by it. No, she broke it. It looks like. Okay. He was at twenty health too. All right. Uh, we moved here so we can cleave, which we just missed. All three of them. All right. Uh, he's at. Two stamina. I 
can either back up or I can shield, but I can't do both. Can't actually get through here. Do I have actions on her or not? I have no control over her, I'm not sure. How far do I want to go before I rally? Both my archers took uh, morale hits off that. They're both at under the one. Our catapult panicked as well. I can't get them in rally distance, so it doesn't matter. So I'm considering going there and rallying. No, 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 not you. You would go down one. We'll see how effective this is at unpanicking people. Not at all effective, apparently. They're both still panicked. Seems kind of stupid. Yeah. Uh, we're going to heal ourselves here. Have two archer shots. Good. Uh, what else do we have available right now? The priestess needs to heal. There. Four of our allies are going to run. Got to hope some of their panics break before they get off the map. Nope, nope. It's a lot of damage that we don't avoid anymore. And we lose that catapult every round, which is really too bad, too. I moved him there to AoE. He's missed all of his AoE shots and is now getting the shit kicked out of him. Finally, he hit something. That's nice. It's at 7 health. We're going to have to fix that. He's a heal. Uh, who else needs a heal? Did my guy die this round? Looks like he died. I thought I got might have got knocked away, but no, he's dead. Alright, at least Delia's back. Something. The leader's not taking any damage right now, which I wish she was she was. Two archer shots right now. I'm seriously tempted, tempted to just dump stamina reduction on this guy because I don't know what else how, what, what the hell else we're gonna do. There's two trolls up, they do so much damage, and there's two chargers up, they do so much damage. I think we've lost this again. And just after rallying, we're still this guy's down to seven sta seven morale. I just rallied last fucking turn too. Can I man the catapult? Anyone know? Doesn't look like it. I guess we gotta get some kills.
recover stamina there. Okay. When that guy dies, which is gonna happen this round, we're gonna like lose like two more people breaking. Everybody just broke off that. Ah, oh, dude, it gets a little troll, doesn't it? Your allies are idiots. Your allies position themselves stupidly. If your allies die, they give you huge morale penalties across your entire group. It's a loss. We're we just gonna play this one fight all day today. Sounds like we might be. All right. I don't know if I have a different plan. Seems to be a little bit at the mercy. I remember the first time we took that fight, I thought it was so stupid that my allied leader was at the bottom of the map and he just did like nothing the entire time. But he actually didn't do nothing. He got shot by like five archers around and stood there and tanked like three, like three orc, uh, three of the shield guys, right? So he actually stood, did a ton. I didn't realize quite how effective he was at doing nothing by just drawing their attacks. So I need him to go south. So I guess new plan is body block him until we force him to go south. That's our new plan. Because that's what worked out for us. So where is he? He's here. Alright, so we get some fast guys in there. That we don't really care about. Looks like those two. Uh, I want to make sure we get morale buffs because morale is a huge problem and morale stacks so you can double up your morale buffs. We've been doing it at the start of every single round, but nothing has changed. Uh, I want Archer there. Archer there. You guys can shift positions. Oops, it's not who I thought you were. Go there. Go there. Go here. All right, let's try this. Yeah. Should have moved her over. There's no reason not to. I just missed one rally on that. Okay. Now let's scoot up. I can't quite get there to block. Need to leave this side open. If I put an archer in the front though, I guess the archers are faster. No, there's no way they're faster. Everyone's five move, right? Except the dwarves who are four. Okay, let's try that. We need him to go south, not north. Kill the enemy leader ASAP. He's got 50 health and likes... Look at him. Let's see, let's see if I can mouse over him for you. He's certainly not a high priority. He's not a high priority target like that. Like, what I need him to do is waste his time attacking large hit point sinks like single target swordsmen. He's going north. Gotta block that. Yeah, the knight has to do something. The knight actually has a really powerful attack, too. I, I hate how I can't mouse over targets when other act tar targets are acting. It drives me nuts. I like want to look at this guy's stats, but I can't. It just shows me all the guys who are moving stats instead. Uh, or queer, or queer, or queer, or queer. Hmm. 
All right, his stats, 54 health, nine defense. These are not some, and two armor, and four magic resist. He's definitely not something I want to focus. It would just take too long to kill him. All right, um, I can't get to where I want to go, which is there to block. So I don't know what that means. I think that means he just gets out again. And by doing it this way, we've lost all of our good targets, too, with the archers. I'm not actually sure this is a better start. He also has some sort of healing. I don't know how much it is per turn or whatnot, but he does. if you do small amounts of damage, he seems to repair that. I think it might be one a turn. Um, can I select him? No. He's level 14. <laughs> One extra stamina a turn. Enemies lose morale standing near him. He gets action points back when he kills guys. All enemies lose five morale when he kills any unit. Maybe I do have to fucking focus him because I can't have that running around. That's why we keep getting morale broken. His attacks only cost two action points instead of four. Or instead of three, rather. And he regenerates a health every turn. And every attack of his applies bleed. Yeah. Alright, we'll try focusing him. It's not like the other shit we're doing is working. Let's get fire arrows. Okay. No, we beat him the first time we did this, chat. It's not like it's the the most imbalanced thing ever. It's just we got lucky with the RNG on the on the enemy hero. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. What? Wow, never mind, I guess we're doing that. We got lucky on the RNG with the hero and didn't even realize we got lucky. We actually thought we got unlucky. It's just because this guy is so much worse. This guy is level three. And he has cool things. He's got a stunning attack, which is great. That's about all he's got. Okay. Does he have a potion? No. Okay. I have not played the, the Awakening. So the biggest problem then is his executioner trait. Every time he kills someone, it costs five, five stamp, uh, five uh, whatever, five morale. So we're gonna have to go after him. Uh, yes, soul crusher. <laughs> 